Oh, come on, Ezekiel. Don't play me like that. There we go. Beautiful. Now we just need to get you inside. Oh, hello, and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Butterfly. But you can call me Fly. Went through this entire little thing. I already did the intro, and I realized I wasn't even recording. But we're back here on Minecraft as it's Minecraft money in this is episode 50 of the Minecraft Let's Play series. So of course, before we get started, if you guys want to check out the previous Minecraft money, which is actually episode one of the hardcore series, and it's actually hardcore because it's actually in hard mode. We don't have hardcore here on Bedrock. So I had to improvise. We're just going to kind of challenge ourselves in that Let's Play. And I'm going to try and treat it like a hardcore series. So whenever I die, I die. I can't mess around with the world anymore. If you guys want to check out episode one, I'll have an info card above my head. You guys go ahead and check that out. But so today you guys could already tell by the title and the thumbnail of the video we're going to be going ahead and creating a hobbit hole now that's simply just because i was thinking about how we don't have the other hoe yet i haven't gotten around doing that so today we're going to go ahead and do up a little hobbit hole for ezekiel because i was thinking he's just been chilling out here in this little random hole and i, I want to treat him a little bit nicer so now that we got the mending book set aside here we're going to go ahead and plop that in there so that's ready then we'll worry about the hoe at some other point because i, I don't think i'm going back to the ocean monument build anytime soon now with this hobbit hole i've seen all kinds of different little clips and little images of the front of a hobbit hole i kind of have it mapped out for at least the materials i want but i just don't exactly have it mapped out as to how i want to make it so i'm gonna go with these two birch and dark oak it's kind of strange because they're very different in terms of color and brightness so we're gonna do that and then i do want to have a chimney i've seen a lot of little images of some of them having chimneys and i want to try and do one i just don't know how i'm gonna go about doing it because the way Ezekiel's is, is not exactly one of those little just hill sort of mountains. It's an actual mountain mountain. So I don't know if I'm just going to stick a chimney kind of bending out of the side of the mountain or how I'm going to do that. But I just definitely want a chimney. I don't know why. I just want one. I think maybe part of it is because my old little house outside there has a chimney. And I, I, I just want to be able to give Ezekiel a chimney here. Because of the fact that the other dock is made out of dark oak, I'm kind of second guessing myself on having dark oak and birch as the hobbit hole itself. So instead, we're going to use spruce for the complementary color i'm also coming to the conclusion here that i think we're gonna go ahead and take pablo and shift him out pablo's going and hanging out with ezekiel because i'm sitting here trying to get all these resources and stuff that i'm gonna use for this and all my days pablo is yapping my ear off right now extracted ezekiel from his little abode don't want to have any casualties here in this episode so fingers crossed that he's chilling kind of been jumping all over the place here sort of the interior layout that we got going on i still need to raise it up quite a bit but my game plan is to have sort of this middle area dip down so we're gonna have stairs down into this center area maybe treat this like a living room or something still need to elevate this side as well but we'll kind of have stairs go up into that area down into this area up into this area and that's kind of the layout that i plan here for the interior but for the exterior i'm still kind of mixed up about what i want to do i wanted to try and incorporate multiple colors into here so this is what i threw in but i don't know how I'm feeling about this. I think that it's way too dark to add the dark oak into the build itself. I think it's better for just the floor here. Right here, I'm probably gonna go ahead and add just a little ladder situation or just maybe leave it like this. I'm not entirely sure. But this is what we got going on so far. This is kind of the mapped out layout. I'm gonna obviously have these circular styles going just like that, but with the spruce. Then I might do it here for the entrance or I might just leave the entrance like this. I don't know, but that's what we got going on so far. All right, let's step back, take a look here and boom. This is what we, oh snap. There's thunder and lightning going on right now. I thought that was like a huge crate or something. I don't know what my mind was honestly thinking, but this is kind of what we got going on. I put this little retaining wall there. I need to fix up the top here just a tad, kind of cover up some holes there, swim along here, hop on in. Of course, there's going to be lanterns hanging around here. I'm going to try to stick some lanterns here and there, maybe hang them off of these or something like that. Come in here. This is the design that I was talking about. I wanted to step down and then we have this large open area in the center. We climb up this side. I have yet to add things on the interior here, but we just got this little rectangle that's going to have this window, of course, that you could look straight through here. 
and we go to this side and it's the exact same thing. But I will go ahead and hint, there is gonna be a deeper build to Ezekiel's little cottage that he's got going on here, his little hobbit hole. That's gonna be a future build that we're gonna just tuck to the side and kind of worry about later on. Which by the way, I, I do need to point out real quick, Ezekiel got a massive upgrade, like he is balling. I don't know where he got all of his emeralds to go ahead and pay for a place like this, but man, is he rolling in it. I do somewhat wish that this was a better shaped mountain or something like that because I don't like like really how this came out but I didn't know any other way to go about doing it so I'm just hoping patching up holes up there it looks a tad bit better it just looks a little bit wonky to have this huge cobblestone wall just crawling over the side of the mountain like that all right here's my little contraption for my boat dock that I got going on I moved the little entrance over to the left I added a little chimney of course I tried to fix up the mountain a little bit just the best I could it's kind of hard to work with whenever most of it's basically just flat I left the cobblestone wall as is but but let's see how hard this is going to be real quick. I wanted to go ahead and get Ezekiel in here. Oh, come on, Ezekiel. Don't play me like that. There we go. Beautiful. Now we just need to get you inside. I did add like a baby gate for the door. Yes. Beautiful. Love that. Awesome. Then I do have a tiny bit of a little interior going on here. I added a shelf. I added a little sort of vent for the stove top here to go out to the chimney. Added these armor stands and I know Ezekiel can't exactly use armor, but I can use this as like a secondary extension to my armor stands. I could put a little bit more rare items out here because I, I trust Ezekiel, okay? I, I trust him with a lot. He, he sells me mending books, so I trust him with quite a bit actually. So that's just another little update there for this, kind of what we got going on. I did add the lantern outside finally, but I was thinking about maybe, because normally with hobbit holes and whatnot, you add kind of the crops outside. I was thinking of maybe doing a little crop farm outside for Ezekiel there, but I'm not entirely sure yet. All right, and after spending a little while kind of mapping out the interior, we are finally done here. I got everything squared away. Very pleased with how this build turned out. I think Ezekiel is pretty pleased with it as well. He's out here balling in a whole new home. You see Ezekiel kind of peeking his head out. But all around, I'm pleased with the exterior. And now time to go ahead and hop on inside. Actually pretty wild. So I threw up some armor over here. I had this stuff just laying around. So I went ahead, threw this over here. Probably need to go ahead and get a helmet so that doesn't look so weird. Threw a big painting up because like I said, this build is going to have more to it than just Ezekiel's new little home. Moving on, we'll go ahead and head to the right here. This is kind of the bedroom area slash job area and I was kind of a little bit bothered with the way the lectern looked kind of just sitting here I wanted to try and put these sort of tables beside it but I didn't really like the way the stairs look I don't know I just got to the point where I just covered it up so it basically just looks like a nice little table of sorts then we head over here it's honestly pretty packed over on this side I was honestly trying to figure out a way to maybe incorporate a second bedroom but I didn't want it to look exactly like this one I wanted to just kind of maybe put a bed over here in case maybe I am hanging out over here or doing something and I just need to go to bed real quick and I don't need to just plop my own bed down I can just have one here and ready scrap that entire idea I went ahead and added kind of some stuff that I've already done before where you kind of have this little frog dissection sort of thing going on that I have down in the science lab. Very convenient little storage space. Honestly got this little design here from seeing images around. I didn't really know what to put inside an interior so I got a little bit of inspiration I'm not gonna lie some of this stuff isn't off the top of the dome but I kind of like this little spot here as more storage and it also looks kind of like an actual kitchen area so I thought it tied in pretty well with the actual chimney that we got going on but that's basically it that's Ezekiel's little hobbit bowl now but this area right here was kind of improvised this was going to be sort of more of a dining area this entire section was going to be a little chandelier hanging down with a nice dining room table right in the middle and two chairs on each side kind of got to the point where I realized that the painting wasn't positioning well I wanted it to just be three by two and it wasn't filling up only that spot because I don't think we actually have any paintings that only cover that amount. So instead I got to the point where I found these huge paintings like that and wow, I could not have gotten that lucky again. So that's kind of why we have all this area here, but it was definitely gonna be just a small, easy, simple little dining room area originally. But yeah, that is Ezekiel's new little home here. We upgraded him. Hopefully he's enjoying his little hobbit hole that he's got going on now. I've always wanted to build one of these, like I said. We finally have done it. He's been treating well with the countless amounts of 
mending books that we had to go ahead and get. So I just figured he needed an upgrade and that's exactly what we did today. But that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Next time we're here on Minecraft, we're gonna be in the hardcore world. So keep that in mind. It's gonna be some sort of challenge that way it actually seems like it's a hardcore world since it's only in hard mode. So I'm not sure what it will be. Maybe we'll go to the nether. Maybe not because I really don't like the nether and that'll probably end the series sooner than what we want it to. Who knows? I'll figure it out. Hopefully it's gonna be interesting here and... Yeah, that's it for this one. And with that, peace out, Monarch Militia. And as always, spread love, radiate positivity, and try to smile. See you.